welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm Trinity and today I'm going to be doing another story time for you guys. I got a lot of requests to do a few story times, but this one was all me. I had to let you guys know, and I can't even believe I waited so long to even tell you guys about the worst prom ever. My worst prom, my only prom. That's the saddest thing is that it was my only prom and it was the worst. Nothing went right. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. But before I get started, please like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead, I'll wait just a click so first let me let you guys know that the prom was on the same day as a very important track meet you know how some people that run track they run track but they don't really live track I was someone who lived track and I was really loyal to my relay team yeah I was on a relay I found out that the prom was on the same date as a track meet and let me tell you this was a bad decision from the jump I clearly decided to go to prom and not be focused on the track meet. I was just too busy. Oh, you know, my hair. Because in my head, I'm like, I'm supposed to have my hair curled. I'm supposed to be getting me some weave. I'm supposed to be looking nice. I don't want to go to no track meet and mess that up. I can tell you to this day, I still get bothered with the thought of my prom going so bad and how much I should have just went to that track meet. I didn't go to any of the previous proms. I was a senior, so I definitely wanted to just have that moment of being a senior and going to a prom. But after looking back at all of it, it's just like, why? First, let's talk about the date, okay? Um, yeah, mm. <sighs> The guy that I wanted to take me to prom he actually wasn't even in high school. I'm tell I'm talking nowhere near high school. Um, he was 22, 23 years old. And some of you are probably like, whoa, he's old. He was old at the time. And I was sort of kind of young at the time. I wasn't, I think I was about 19 years old. I think I was 20 years old. Now, I found out that I couldn't take anyone older than 21 to this prom. Boy, was I so upset because that was my prom date right there. Like, that was just, you know, a quick, easy decision. And then I got dropped with a ball with, you know, this whole rule about the guy cannot be older than 21, which is completely whack to me, but whatever. I couldn't take him. I still should have, I still should have tried to sneak him in though, now that I think about it. Now that I'm thinking about all what I could have done to make this prom not be unsuccessful so already I did not have the date that I wanted for my prom so that was a fail so then of course I started to weigh my options of guys that I can possibly have to the prom let me just make this clear me and the guy were talking we weren't dating it wasn't any type of title underneath us we were simply just two individuals that liked each other and were just mingling trying to see if we wanted to go to that next step so at this point i was really trying to weigh my options you know just see if i can find someone who's willing to take me to prom you know somebody has their own car somebody with some money so i definitely just started to think of my options and i did find someone this guy we did go to school together he graduated before me but you know he's he was a cool guy you know i just thought you know this is a nice guy to go to prom with he's a cool guy when my parents found out that i was going to prom with this guy they were really happy because this guy was actually you know he did a whole lot of um work in the church you know he helped out a whole lot he was really involved in it he was a cool guy he was a great guy but he wasn't my ideal guy for me to go to the prom with. This guy was, I don't even know how tall he is. He was at least like 6'3", 6'3", y'all. And y'all, if y'all don't know already, I am short. I am five foot, y'all, right there. If not a tad bit lower than five, okay? <laughs> I must say that this guy was really happy to for me to have asked him to take me to the prom. He, You know, he was really cool, really open to it. 
And you know, he was a cool guy. He was just really, really tall and I was really short. So now that I got my date out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to my dress. So as you know about the whole dress thing, you know, we have this vision, we close our eyes when we have this vision of, of the dress that we want to wear for prom, or at least the color. My color was yellow. Some of you, I don't know if some of you are like, ew, da, da, but yellow is my favorite color. I just had a vision of this lemon yellow, very gown looking type of dress. I think my skin color looks really nice up against yellow. So I wanted a yellow dress, y'all. I tell you, me and my mom, and I think my sister, I think my dad, I think my whole family, I don't know. We all were just going around trying to look for this perfect dress, this yellow dress, and the sun was going down. It was getting late and I had to walk out with a dress. So yes, I did do it last minute. It was a huge no, no. That's like that's like rule number 1 for prom, right? I eventually came upon this coral dress, okay? <sighs> I felt like I settled, y'all. I felt like and it, it never feels good to have to settle for anything, you know, especially something that's going to happen once. And I had to settle on this coral dress, y'all. I I mean, it was okay, but it just wasn't my ideal dress. It just wasn't the design of it, the color. I mean, coral, who would have known? And I, I never would have guessed that I would have wore a coral for a prom at all. There I go walking out with my coral dress. I text my date and let him know, hey, the color is coral. Now, let's just talk about this for a second. Coral is not a common color, y'all. Coral is not because they have like a pinkish coral and then you got a slight more like a SpongeBob under the sea type of coral, which is like more orange. I knew that there was a huge possibility that my date was not gonna have the exact same coral as me. And I was right. His coral was more of that SpongeBob under the sea orange type of coral. Like I think he had more of a true coral than I did. <laughs> So I settled for my coral dress and then the next day I was supposed to get my hair done. Now let me tell you, this when I didn't chose to go do the track meet, when I chose not to go to the track meet, it was mostly because my hair was going to be down in very nice voluminous curls and waves. The reason why my, this y'all, this part, excuse me if I get hyped telling this part of the story, okay? The hair, the hair. The next day, I was supposed to get my hair done, okay? Now, y'all, I've been having this hairdresser for a very long time. She's done my hair for a while, and this one moment, this one day that she messed up, I never went to her again after. I tell you, I was supposed to be getting weave, okay? I wasn't gonna have like a updo hairstyle, a very compacted hairstyle, where you can kind of shake your head and then and not move. I actually wanted very voluminous waves and long weave for my prom, okay? I wanted to look elegant, you know? And let me, <laughs> y'all, I make an appointment with this lady. I go into the salon, okay? She over there eating, eating french fries, you know? And then she's looking at my hair like, oh, I thought you were gonna wash it and blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, what am I paying you for? What is my mom paying you for? You better hook my hair up. What you mean? <laughs> she pretty much was looking at me like, oh, I thought you was gonna get a head start. Uh, is your license not valid? You ain't got a job up in, you ain't got a place in this salon for nothing. You know, like, uh, you best to do something. I'm looking at her like, look, oh man. And this was the day before. So I had a picture of the hairstyle that I wanted her to do. And honestly, it's a little bit similar to the hairstyle that I have right now, just a little bit different. And let me tell you, it looked nothing like the picture. 
Y'all, my hair, dude, I'm talking about my edges weren't even laid. She didn't even lay, she didn't even have the decency to lay down my edges, y'all. So, she didn't relax my hair, she didn't perm my hair, she didn't straighten my hair. She literally just braided my hair and put some weave on top of it and thought it was all going to be good. And it was not. It was horrible. It was ugly. Oh my goodness, y'all. When I looked into the mirror and saw my hair, I wanted to go crazy, y'all. I wanted to go crazy, but my mom was there. I didn't want, I just didn't want to spaz out, okay? I did not want to spaz out. I just accepted it and I went back home and I fixed my hair. So I am going to show you guys my prom picture at the end and you're possibly going to be like, oh, well, it looks nice. Yeah, because I fixed it because it was just tore up when I left that salon. Like, I can't even believe it. And I haven't went back to her ever since. I mean, the thing, what bothered me is she actually did something that wasn't nice, that it wasn't pretty. You know, like I'm going to prom and you got me looking rusty. Like, what? Like, no respect at all. She was good with doing my doobies back in the day, but that's it. No more needed. She messed up my hair and she really just did a bomb literally a bomb not the bomb a bomb like she did a bomb job it was horrible now the shoes the shoes the shoes the shoes that i had were very high i'm thinking like seven inches high y'all y'all probably like what yes y'all <laughs> And only because my date was tall. So I did try to, you know, he couldn't get shorter for me, but I could get taller for him. So I did wear very high heels. And let me tell you, bad, bad. My feet were hurting all night because of those shoes. It just was horrible, horrible, horrible. So my date did come on time. We took pictures and all of that. And then we met my friends to go out to eat before prom. Now, okay, so the restaurant that we were going to was Mimi's Cafe. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that restaurant, but around my area, there's a Mimi's Cafe. I've never been before. I was just like, okay, well, I'm guessing it's a nice spot or whatever. So, um, yeah, I meet all the rest of my friends there. I'm ordering my food and I'm looking at the menu and honestly, I'm not seeing anything that I like, y'all. I later on found out that this was a very healthy, healthy restaurant, expensive, but just very healthy eating. And you know, me at the time, like I was just like, man, I could have did some wings maybe, some quesadillas maybe, some mozzarella sticks, I don't know. I don't know what everybody else does on their prom night far as going to eat. But me, I don't really care that it's prom night. I'ma eat like Trinity, I'ma eat what I wanna eat. But no. I ordered this meal I knew nothing about. It was spicy though, because I love spicy food. So, you know, I just said, hey, what's spicy on the menu? And that's what I got. And I did not end up eating almost anything of that meal at all. There it goes with the restaurant. <laughs> I don't know who picked out that location to eat at. Like, I really don't, and I really wanna know. I really wanna know. If I could go back, I would've stood up at the table and asked all of my friends like hey guys um who who did this who did this to me you know <laughs> because that restaurant was just really whack you know it just was really whack so anyways after that we went to prom y'all we walked into prom first of all we walked into prom late okay so we came fashionably late or late whatever you want to call it and guess who i see at the prom i saw my track team not just my track team i saw my relay team the same relay team that i was on and the same people that i was going to be running with at the track meet that i didn't go to this this let me know one thing trinity you could have went to the track meet and ran and still made it on time for your prom number one number two your hair wasn't even a business anyway. So at this point, you know, I greeted them. I said, hey, how was the track me? You know, they were happy to see me and everything. Now we do have alternates, you know, on the track. If somebody is not able to run or they get injured, there's always alternates. So I did miss that track me, but there was an alternate in my place and she was a good runner. 
and she took my place for that track meet. You know, they greeted me and all that, and they were, you know, I'm like, oh, how was the track meet, y'all? They broke the school record, y'all. I don't think you guys are understanding here. They broke the school record, okay? My relay team broke the school record. This was a, a, a something that I could have been part of, but no, I wasn't part of it. I chose to be focused on my prom hair and my, and my prom dress and, ooh, I don't wanna be late. I want this to be a special night for me. By the way, I was first leg, so that's what leg I ran was the first. I was the pop out. You're probably like, well, Trinity, if you was gonna run at the track meet, then how do you know that you would have broke the, you know, the record with that relay if you did run? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident enough to say that I would have helped break that record. That meet was very important. It was a very important meet, and I, I show up. So I'm confident enough to say they still would have broke that record had I been on the relay and they would have broke it even when with me not being on the relay. I had a very good relay team all together. The second leg can change the whole entire race. The fourth leg can change the whole entire race. It really doesn't matter. With those particular girls in my relay because we were a relay team for a while. So I was really happy for them. No shade at them at all. I was really more upset with myself because that could have been my special night right there. That could have been something that I went to sleep with, being very happy about, and instead, <laughs> prom was just the worst. My prom was the perfect example of just a whack prom, really. I'm sure people people looked like they were having fun, but for me, I, I just wasn't really having fun you know, I had so much on my mind with, you know, the track meet. And then, you know, my date was really tall, so we really couldn't do the slow dancing. And it was just really weird. I do remember seeing my ex dancing with my ex-friend. Yes, y'all. I was dating this guy. And right after me and him broke up, he immediately went to my friend that I've been friends with for a while. So that was awkward and weird, but I'm happy, you know, if they're happy, I'm happy. You know, do your thing, bruh, do your thing. So they were kind of entertaining to watch cause you know, I don't know, they just looked kind of funny dancing, that's all. It just seems like my prom was not coming up from there, you know. And then after it was all done, I was ready to go home. You know, I told my dad, hey, you know, drive me home. And yeah, so my day, you know, I guess he wanted to end the, end the date with a kiss like most people do. It was a little bit weird just because this particular guy, I did not see myself really going to that step with. Um, I did not have no, I didn't have any clue that he actually did have some feelings for me. Um, and he definitely expressed them that night. And you know, we did kiss. And you know, uh, that was our last kiss. So I got home, I took off my, my shoes. I think my dad, I think my parents were up, my dad or my mom. I'm sure someone asked me how was it or whatever, and I'm sure I said, oh, it was good. It was good. So I, had a, I had a great night, Mom. I had a great night. You know, everything went swell. And I went to my room, and I went to sleep. And I remember the next morning, all I can possibly think about is why did I not go to that track me. I think that I think that's what made this situation a little bit more uncomfortable for me. It's just the fact that I made a decision thinking that something would be better than something else and it just did not even it wasn't even a inch. It wasn't even a crumb of happiness in my prom night. Like I am trying to I am still trying to think really hard about something 
that just went right or something that I, I really liked about prom. And honestly, I cannot even think. Maybe my nails. Yes, I got my nails done. That was the best thing that happened was me getting my nails done and I liked my nails and that was it. It was my first time getting acrylic. So I was happy about my nails, but that's about it. I am so happy that I'm telling you guys this story. I'm happy that it's gonna be on YouTube forever because I will never forget my prom at all. That was my only prom and it was the worst prom. It was not a good experience. You know, for some reason I felt like I couldn't do both. And I don't know why I felt like I couldn't do both. I don't know why I didn't just say, well, just wing it out, see what you can do. So I really, really want you guys to really not go through anything similar to my situation where you're just kind of regretting something, you know, just don't do it. Really just look at your options here and try to do both. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed my story time. Make sure to comment below telling me about your prom or if it was just as bad as mine or worse. And also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another video like this video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.